hello friends welcome back to my channel today i am going to show you how to prepare squid vindalu for that i have taken squid small squid 300 grams then i have taken one onion two shallots six or seven cloves of garlic one string of curry leaves and one piece of ginger one tablespoon of coriander seeds one fourth teaspoon of fennel seeds half teaspoon of cumin seeds and half teaspoon of black pepper corns four or five tablespoon of grated fresh coconut one teaspoon of fennel powder one teaspoon of pepper powder half teaspoon of mustard seeds one fourth teaspoon of methi seeds or fenugreek seeds 1 teaspoon of vinegar white vinegar 1 piece of cambogia or malaba tamarind soaked in water 10 dried red, red chilies soaked in hot water for 10 minutes i have taken dry red chilli so i am taking only 10 if you have kashmiri red chilli you can take 10 to 15 and you can keep it for soaking in the hot water for 10 minutes then salt as needed then oil as needed so let's see how we are going to prepare squid vindalu First, I am going to cut the squid into small medium size and I am going to chop the onions and shallots and we have to make a ground paste with red chilies, ginger, garlic, coriander seeds, cumin seeds, peppercorns and fennel seeds. So let's see how we are going to prepare this. So now I have done cutting the squid into medium size ring size shape. As you can see. So next up, we are going to make a paste with in a blender. We are going to add the soaked red chilies. With that, I'm going to add the garlic pieces and ginger pieces I'm going to add the peppercorns cumin seeds coriander seeds and the fennel seeds and the vinegar so we are going to make a fine paste I have made to a good paste and I have chopped onion, shallots and the curry leaves and I have added a small piece of ginger to this. 
so let's see how we are going to prepare the squid vindalu for that i have cut one pan now the pan is hot in that i am going to add the cooking oil just 2 tablespoon of cooking oil when the oil is hot i am going to add the mustard seeds and the methi seeds or fenugreek seeds once the mustard splutter i am going to add the chopped onion shallots curry leaves and the ginger stir well once the onion changed to a translucent color i am going to add two pinch of turmeric powder i forgot to mention you in the ingredients list you can add turmeric powder now and sort well once the raw smell goes from the turmeric powder I am going to add the squid. Squid won't take much time to cook. So after adding squid, I am going to add with that fennel powder, pepper powder, and give a good mix. after giving a good mix i am going to close it with the lid for 2 to 3 minutes to cook after cooking for 2 to 3 minutes i am going to add the ground paste keep the flame in medium and give a good stir with that i am going to add salt after adding the ground paste i am going to close it again with the lid and cook it for 5 minutes while the squid getting cooked i am going to crush the coconut in the blender we can give one pulse or two pulse we don't need to make a paste just crushing with little bit of water
while it's getting cooked in between i am going to add the cambodia or malabar tamarind into this now with this i am going to add the crushed coconut after adding coconut we keep we can keep it open for 2 or 3 minutes more so the water will get dried up if you want you can check the salt this time and you can add more the squid vindalu is ready make sure it's not overcooked The squid vindalu recipe is ready. Hope you like this recipe. You can serve this vindalu with rice, chapati, dosa. Please do a try. Please like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification. Thank you for watching. Thank you.